Remember, CISD debriefing does not replace professional counseling or psychiatric or psychological professional services. You are a first responder to provide mental first aid, so to speak. And that's so important, I'm gonna repeat it. Remember, CISD does not replace professional counseling or psychiatric or psychological professional services. You are a first responder to provide mental first aid, so to speak. Now, in there I said the goal here is to provide uh, a debriefing within 24 to 72 hours of the incident. So let's say uh, in your workplace, you had something that affected one of the employees that meets the definition of a critical incident. We know that this person sort of was traumatized and you've got a CISD team member in the office. Why would I wait 24 hours to perform this process? Why wouldn't I wanna get to her as soon as possible? Don't all speak at once. That's you know, rude. <laughs> Probably need to let the person gather themselves and process process a bit before you immediately jump in and do something. That's a good. That's a good point. Uh, how about one of the nurses come up with what they think that what the reason might be? They're that's true. Shock. Yes, they're in shock. They're in shock. They've they're they're in a state of shock. They've got so much adrenaline. Uh, in their system. And, you know, when it, when we're in a state of shock, uh, we're in that state of fight or flight, and there's adrenaline in our body, uh, what that's going to do is it, we're not going to really feel sometimes the physiological sensations that was produced by that trauma, nor the emotional. We become a little bit numb. And that's sort of the, the, the body's way, a utilitarian function of survival. So generally, not all the time, but most of the time, Generally, within uh, 24 hours, uh, that adrenaline will start to dissipate out of the body and the person will be in that sort of normal, uh, close to homeostatic place uh, where we're going to be able to do um, the intervention.